Hello and welcome to this Project in the Box video. This is a session looking at trend analysis. This is the intro session where we'll be taking you very briefly through the functionality by means of slides. Um, and there's a partner video uh, which takes you through in much more detail some worked examples actually using the system and exploring how it all works in practice. So let's uh, proceed through this then. So um, we have a whole load of data that we collect within our system at the project level we call these properties there can be a wide range of different types coming from plans risks issues uh, any spreadsheet sources things you might have typed in we always collect and hold the current piece of value piece of data for that and there can be many hundreds of these in the system um, now what we're doing now is we are creating a history table and every time that value changes we store the change in value and that actually that particular bit of information is quite important so what we can see here is some things will change regularly the progress and the actual cost some things change less often like the budget cost and what we do is we turn that into really useful outputs for you like this as an analysis chart timeline showing the three pieces of data that we're seeing on the left here um, and we do that in a few stages so we fundamentally hold in the database every time something actually changes that's down to the second when it happens um, and if you look at that in real time um, without any sort of filters that applied to that data, you'd see something like this. You'd see that the budget changed from one value to another here. The budget obviously was set somewhere back earlier than December 17, back over here. And sometimes in a month we see many changes happening, um, as we've got here. That's sort of, and some months you might not see any changes. And so that sort of data become, is a little bit rough. And what we often want to see is something more processed like this. And therefore, the system enables you to apply filters to do all that. So um, it allows you to decide what happens when you've got multiple data points in a month. In this case, we're choosing to see the last data point in each month. And what happens when you have no data points in the month, in which case we show a prior period if there is one. If there's no prior period, then it shows as a blank. And so it can work through that, giving you actually what's a much nicer update and that means you don't have to force people to go in on the last day of the month and update values it will handle all that and turn it into a nicely presentable data set for you of course you have the option of running it without filters and seeing the raw data as we've got there as well now all that data is available into different analysis types we have timelines just like we've seen a second ago you can cho choose the colors of the lines the pointer type the point types the um, line types the thicknesses all that sort of stuff you can switch on and off keys you can choose the scales uh, in each different set and you can choose all sorts of different data to analyze in this way you can also run bar charts this is obviously for a single property but you can choose multiple bars um, alongside each other if you want to as well different types of data work better in the different types of displays as we saw earlier you can also run tables and you have all these different things switched on and off separately now this is a particular data type or presentation type status history chart as we call it which is well aligned for text type data so we're collecting statuses here a number of different statuses for the project from benefits finances issues risks etc up to a global type project status and you can see those the current value is shown with a full size block and these taper off backwards through history to give you an indication of how the thing is moving forwards um, and you can see those uh, it'll pick up the colors based on the um, value map that you set up for it um, and uh, you can see how those have changed over time. Some of them won't change, um, and some of them will change fairly regularly. But it's a really good way of seeing text type data. You can actually make that show on these other sorts of analysis, but this is a really nice way of clearly seeing rich information like that. And then this one's down here are value panels. Um, you can either choose the value, so there's four different ones here. Um, you choose the size of it, the color of it, um, the property that's going to display. You can either choose just the latest value, which isn't really history, uh, which is what these ones are here, with dates and period information and notes, etc. And you can choose one that compares the current value to the last period value. So we're using daily here, 10th of December and 9th of December. We're looking at how the burn rate has changed and it's the same value on those two different periods so it's the same but it would show you differences with ups and downs often a stock type of display here um, and so that's really useful for getting nice rich 
overview information into reporting, for example. Um, so those are the different analysis types that are available for you based on that history data we've been collating. You can use those in two ways. There are inbuilt live analysis windows in the Windows application and also in the browser interface as well, um, where you can pull stock analysis types and see them straight away for the current project or portfolio. Um, and in the Windows application, you can then personalize those and save new ones. And you can also generate that into reports. And of course, into reports that can be blended with lots of other data. So here at the top, we've got a, uh, a report which is showing those value panels we saw earlier mixed in with some charts coming through, some data points, some tables coming out of Excel uh, automatically merged together. And in this bottom annual report here, we can see, again, some of those similar things we've looked at before, um, some different types of data here. This is a, a timeline showing the project end baseline date and predicted end date showing against the period. So we can see how that's changed over time. And this is a percentage complete showing against the period. So um, again, merging all those different types of data in with perhaps more traditional text and charts. So this is a, um, a milestone timeline chart for a project all into the same place. So like I say, that's a, a quick introduction to trend analysis um, and what you can do with it. Um, the partner video, uh, the link for which is available here, works through that in much more um, detail. We actually go and look at that in practice. We explore the tools, create some views, see how we can change those around, etc. See those loading into reports. Okay, I hope you found that helpful and that you'll find the next video equally interesting. Thank you very much.